Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever Sash life here, and welcome to another Destiny video. Today it's about Bunchy reveals the Queen of the Reef's fate. Yes, she might be still alive. More about that now. Enjoy it. Is Destiny Marasov Queen of the Reef dead or alive? Bunchy reveals the character's fate and teases the past version of Destiny's story as well as its future. In Destiny, the Queen of the Reef is a major character in the lore and story of the game. She helps get the player to the original campaign, last level and her realm of the Western outpost was heavily featured in Destiny's second expansion, House of Wolves. In the opening cinematic of the Taken King expansion, the Queen Marasov and her forces are engaged in a grand space battle with Oryx, the titular villain of the expansion. Things quickly turn south for Soth and it appears as thought she is destroyed by a giant blast. The Destiny community has said the lore from the game, known as the Grimoire, hints that she still lives but today Bungie confirmed it to be true the Queen of the Reef is alive. The news come during Bungie's weekly stream, a new endeavor for the developer as it tries to open up communication with its community during this time between content drops. In today's stream focusing on the audio team at Bungie, the voice actor between Marasov Kirsten Potter was in a studio guest. While talking with the creative story lead CJ Corwin, Corwin revealed that Bungie has big plans for Marasov in the future of the franchise. This is totally spoiling like Destiny 2020 or something but when we get to that world down, the road where that original pirate green comes out, I think it's going to be a really powerful moment. When he says original pirate green, he is referring to the preceding conversation where Pata and Coven were discussing how Destiny's story and the Queen's character has changed over development. It what seemingly confirms previous rumors that Destiny's original story was scrapped a year away from launch, Potter said Marasov's character completely changed. In the original version of Destiny's story, Sov was a space pirate who had lots of weapons and who actively fought other characters presumably in cutscenes that existed in the original story. Cowain said that during Destiny's development the team at Bungie and Potter spent two or three years working on the version of the Queen where she was the pirate. In a sense, she was a much grittier character before the rewrites. After that time, as Potter says, she was put on break, presumably at the point that Destiny's original story written by longtime Bungie veteran Joy Staten was drawn out and rewritten. When Potter was brought back to Bungie to continue work on Destiny, she was presented with the version of the Queen fans now known and told this is the new story. Bungie's stream turned into a fascination reveal, not only for the future of Marasov's character but also giving fans a glimpse into the past. It's unclear when the Queen may reappear re in Destiny's story. Perhaps she could return for the big spring update or the major expansion coming this fall or she might be missing in action until the full sequel coming next year. So guys this was my video, are you excited like me about Marasov's return? Let me know down in the comments, don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming Destiny videos, have a good day, see you soon, bye. Maybe this method is perfect for you. Now, after buying the weapon parts, go to your favorite faction. For this video, I choose a new faction.